Good day guys, Bing here. Today, uh, let's have a look at this project. So, uh, we are going to model a face-based family, like, like this uh, window, and we can um, adjust the size and place them onto uh, the wall. Okay, so let's do it. So first, um, let's create a generic model, face, Based, okay, face based. Okay, so first let's place some reference plan RP, okay, dimension DI equal and another dimension, dimension equal another dimension. So I'm going to um, create a parameter so this one will be with an instance parameter okay so this select this dimension and create a height parameter let's call it uh, uh, change it to instance parameter as well okay so now let's go to oh let's create another four reference plan so these four reference plan will be used to uh, to get the thickness of the frame. Okay, so dimension all these uh, reference plans and this one. Select all these uh, dimensions and create a thickness a parameter. So let's call it TH. Um, I'll use type pra uh, parameter. Okay, so now we need to go to front view elevation and create a um, create a parameter so oh sorry create a reference plan and a, and also create a parameter for this the depth of this window so I'm going to uh, use the for depth instance and okay okay so now let's go um, actually, hang on. Um, we're going to use sweep for this uh, window because it's easier to create a sweep with a little curve. But before that, I'm going to create another draw another reference plan. So I'll draw it here. So this will be used for the center point of the 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 arc. So this will be an arc here. Okay, so um, and another one here. So dimension and equal, and also another dimension here. So this one, um, this one. Uh, let me show you. So it will be something like this. So okay, so this will be the frame. Go down, go down there, go down there, and. So this will be the, the radius r, which equals half of the thickness. Okay. So now I'm going to select this one and create a radius. I'll call it r, and I'll just use type and I'll go to family types. So this r equals half of the thickness. Apply. Okay. So now we, we get this point. So the intersection of these two reference um, plan, and then now we can start to create a sweep. So first we need to go to floor plan and create sweep. Okay, so first let's set the work plan. So count its reference level, which is good. And then you can create path. Okay, so click on here and then you can just pick these reference plans so you can pick either this one this the internal one or external one so it will be the same let's just um, draw this I'll, I'll draw the rectang rectangle on these internal uh, reference plans and then lock them okay then finish and now go edit profile go to our oh, helm it looks like the, um, the profile, the profile, see this one? 
uh, go went to the this line. So actually, I want this one go to here because we we already create these reference plans for to con for for the constraint um, for the profile. So what I'm going to do is I'll just go back to sketch path. I'll delete this one. So this will force this go back to the other reference uh, the other path. So which in here which is good. Okay. So now I'm going to just once again pick this reference plan and I'll just use this lock and trim TR. Okay, so finished. So now we can finish this path and let's go select profile, edit profile again. So this time Reddit will ask us to go to the front view instead of left or right. Okay, so go to front and then because we have this so these two reference plans we already did. So we can now draw the profile. So what I'm going to do is pick line, check this lock, pick this reference plan, pick this reference plan. You can pick the uh, level or the reference plan. Okay, so I'll just pick the level. Now I'm going to trim here and then we need to create a center and arc. So from here, here, here. Okay, it's trim and trim. So just double check um, or if you type VV and check this one. So see if there's any. So you will see this uh, temp, uh, blue color dimension, which means um, we, we need to constrain it properly. So what I'm going to do is select this arc, check this. So now you will see this little cross a line pick this reference plan pick this lock okay so now it's good it's all good um, and then we can finish this finish finish this so now if we go to 3d view you will see change it to shade sd so this is the frame and so you can try to uh, change the so for example change the thickness Okay, change the, um, the height, yeah, good, depth, um, and width, okay, so all good. So um, I think that's, that's, that's it, and then we can just add, we can add some glazing to it so let's go to front view again so we can use we can probably use this reference plan to place the glazing okay so let's do it i'll just create a ex extrusion okay so extrusion but i'm going to set work plan and pick this reference plan okay so revit will ask us to go to the floor plan open view now we can just um we can we can pick so pick reference plan pick one two three and four trim tr and that's it so you can just change the thickness here you can give them give it a material so you, if you want to change the material you can use create a material parameter okay so and also you can use this to, uh, to create a thickness parameter if you want to. So let me just finish it, go to 3D view, so you will see that's, that's it. And okay, so now let's, uh, let's try to place this family in a project. Okay, so I'll go to create a, a project. So let's draw some wall. Some wall, maybe curved wall. Okay, so let's go to 3D view and go to this window and load this. Oh, so it's not window, it's just a generic model. You can change it to in Windows category if you want to. So now you will see it can be placed on any uh, surface. Okay, so you can also change the 
the dimension of it if you wanted to. So um, okay and you can place it that here okay so now maybe it's good it will be good to automatically cut the hole in the wall so now let's go back to this family and so what we need to do is we need to go to a floor plan so we're going to create a void okay so but before we create a void i want to just hh this frame and hh this glass uh, glass so i can i can easily play uh, pick all the reference plans so go create a void i'm going to use void extrusion and so let, let me check the uh, word plan reference plan which is the one we create the glass. So what I'm going to do is I'll change this back to the reference level, which is the surface of this base. So now create a rectangle, draw a rectangle from this reference plan to this point, and then lock them. Okay, so now let's have a look in 3D view and finish it. So it looks like very thin, it's 20, because we created a glass, which is 20. So I'm going to just type in one meter. And it looks like it goes up, maybe change it to negative one meter, so it go down. But we still need to uh, manually cut base void. Okay, so now we can have a test. So load this into the project. Okay, so that's it. So now this family will automatically um, create a hole on this face. Okay, so it doesn't need to be wall. So if, if so for example, if I, because it's a um, face based family, you can place it on any face and it will automatically cut holes on any face. So for example, so you see, you can cut the hole in the roof as well. Okay, so now let's have a look over here. Because this is a curved wall and this, um, because, um, the frame stop, stopped at the base, the reference level, and it won't touch the wall. So to, um, I think we need to extend this uh, frame so it will touch the wall. Okay, so let's do it. So edit family. So what we're going to do is go to front view. So we're going to create another reference plan here. Okay, so to a dimension. So from, so this time, um, yeah, let's just do it on dimension this to a reference level for now. So I'll, um, I'll, I'll show you the difference later. Okay, so for now, we can just create this one. So I'm going to call it um, another depth. So maybe let's call it D2 and OK. Oh, hang on. Uh, actually, I'm going to change it to a instance parameter so we can adjust it for each uh, individual windows okay so now select this uh, sweep and edit sweep and then click select profile then edit profile select this uh, uh, profile so this line unlock it drag it down to reference plan and lock it so now let's low finish this finish this and and actually you just uh, did you see the void appear and disappear so which means it the void the the void we create um create previously automatically cut the cut this um frame so what we need to do is we need to uncut it otherwise the uh, it won't um, show in the project. Okay, so you will see. So this is a solid, this is a void, 
and then when, once you unselect it, it will be cut. So what we need to do is go cut, uncut geometry, and click on this frame, and try to pick the void here, which is here. Okay, so now this void only cuts the base, not the frame. Okay, so now let's load this into the project. Okay, so this time, so you will see, it will this window can uh, will extend. So let's go to because um, because this is we we create that instance parameter in uh, onto the reference plan. You won't see any handle in 3D view. So if you go to ground floor and select this win uh, window, you will see, or actually you won't see because we dimension that reference plan to the reference level. Okay, so now let's go back. I'll show you the difference. So remember when we place this dimension, we place it from this uh, reference plan to the level. So which, so see this one, a dash dot uh, line, this is the level. So what I'm going to do is I'll delete this di from this reference plan, if you move here and use your tab key and you will be able to pick the reference plan. So this time I'll just uh, give it D2 and now load this back into the project. So now this time if you click on this, you will see this handle. Okay. So for each individual window, you can adjust, adjust this depth. So D, which is D2, you can adjust this to roughly match the wall so you won't have a, a gap between this window and the wall okay okay so um, and let me show you just a little bit extra okay so extra for today so you can let's go to front view again so so for example this reference plan so if we if we replace it, so I'm going to replace it, use a reference line instead. Okay, I'll draw, draw a reference line here. And I'll do a dimension from this reference line to this tab reference plan. Okay, and then I'm going to edit this uh, sweep, edit profile, drag this to the reference line, lock onto the reference line, finish it, finish it select this dimension and the link to D2. So now if I load this into the project and in this 3D view, if I select select this family, you will see this, you will see this handle. So actually it's, <laughs> it's on the side because I draw that reference line on the side. So we can, let's just go back to this family and we can just drag this maybe put this reference line in the middle. Okay, so now if I load this back over right, and then you will see that's a handle in 3D view. Okay, so that's a little uh, tip, a little tip I think I did before. Okay, so that's it. Um, thank you for watching. So then you can, of course, you can adjust all these windows to, to create that interesting uh, building something like that. Okay, so that's it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.